Well, seeing that, you know, Jenny McDermott has made a video response to my old pal Warcorp666, which is a complete and utter shock. A female feminist responding to someone. That is a first. And seeing that talking about Jenny McDermott actually gets me views and a little bit of cash here and there, I suppose making one more video response to Jenny wouldn't hurt so much, would it? An atheist YouTuber by the name of Warcorp666 made a video about me at 1 o'clock, 6, 10, 8, 20, 4 o'clock, and 10. In case you guys don't know, Warcorp666 has these clocks up his wall uh, where he could tell the time in different time zones. And, you know, I... I I really think it's utterly pointless to have, considering that he has a computer to uh, look up whatever time zone there is. Um, but, hell, who am I to judge? Um, you know, personally, I don't really give a fuck what he puts up his walls. He can have a, a bunch of naked women on his wall, and I still watch his videos because, you know, his videos is basically very entertaining to look at. You know, either he's entertaining because he's angry, or he's entertaining when he's drunk. And sometimes both. You guys remember War Corps? Most of what he says consists of the same MRA rhetoric that we've all heard a thousand times. So Those goddamn filthy MRAs. You know, I just love the hypocrisy with feminists, you know. Uh, these feminists will complain about how feminists, uh, being called a feminist is somehow a bad word, and yet they're willing to call anyone who opposes them an MRA, because nothing is as worse as an MRA. I mean, holy fucking shit. I won't waste any of your time getting into it, but instead I want to address a few of the major arguments posited by him and Mercedes Gamergate Carrera regarding what feminism does. In other words, she thinks that by criticizing only points that she feels like she can criticize, she'll somehow thinks that she has won the so-called debate. They both seem to think that feminists do not do anything about rape, women living under Sharia law who wear burqas or hijabs, and the rights of sex workers. They both hate Anita Sarkeesian because they need an outlet for the frustration of this crazy world we're living in. Oh yeah, that's the only reason that they're even making videos towards Anita Sarkeesian. It's not because Anita Sarkeesian is a dishonest son of a bitch. They just, you know, needed something to take their anger and frustration about. And what better way to do so than make a video about Anita Sarkeesian? Yay! And if it isn't that, it's the fact that they're mindless bandwagoneers. The feminist anti-rape movement developed in the 1970s to combat the idea that women cry rape or accuse out of vindictiveness. But that's not modern day or third wave feminism, but rather second wave feminism. Third wave feminism started somewhere around 1990s, if not somewhere around 2000. And it, it, I have no issue with those who consider themselves either first or even second wave feminists, because those are the real feminists out there. Those who are either third wave, modern day, radical feminist, liberal feminist, whatever feminist you are. If you're not a first or second wave feminist, then you are probably one of those people who believe that women are being oppressed because of fucking video games. It was what people would assume was false rape accusations on the part of the victim by having mourning after regrets that created a criminalization of those who were raped. According to a Stanford University-based group known as Men Against Abuse Now, the number of false accusations made by rape victims is at 2%, which is why feminists still fight for rape victims to this day. With programs like Feminist Majority Foundation's rape hotlines that can be found in every state by searching online at feminist.org slash 911, or by teaching men rape prevention in colleges. Sure, men are raped too, but in 2003, 9 out of 10 rape victims were women. In the UK, 69,000 rape victims are women per year, and 9,000 are men. You think women don't care about men's issues, do you? Think again. According to now.org, feminists fought to change the federal definition of rape to include men. 
okay, but there are also groups of people who don't consider them feminists to fight for that right as well. So what's your point? They also fought for the Prison Rape Elimination Act of 2003. In 1994, the Violence Against Women Act was passed and includes domestic violence against men. It's also important to note that feminists fought to expand the definition of hate crimes to include men of color, LGBT men, Jewish men, and Muslim men. Yet plenty of feminists would argue that you cannot be sexist towards men because as long as you are part of the oppressive power, therefore women cannot be sexist towards men, in the same way that blacks can't be racist towards white people. Or basically, any kind of man. As far as feminists taking issue with women in the Middle East that may be living under Sharia law which oppresses women in regard to showing their face, driving, leaving the house alone, women are forced into marriages, and women are victims of honor killings. For feminists who do not speak against the burqa, they are still speaking in defense of it for the reason of avoiding colonial influence. You know, the thing where Native Americans were assimilated and forced to cut their hair and beaten for speaking in their native tongue. That colonial influence. Okay then, um, just tell the likes of Beyonce to instead of focusing on trying to ban a word, how about spreading the word about how women in the third world countries are basically being oppressed. How's that for a start? Another argument against ban of burqa or hijab is the idea of a woman's right to choose. If these women know what the burqa means but still want to embrace their culture, no matter how obviously oppressive that may be to us, who are we to step in and tell them to remove it? Yet you have no problem stepping into gaming culture and say that our culture is completely sexist because there's a lack of women in this in certain areas or how women are portrayed in certain video games. Are you fucking serious? You're willing to demand change within the gaming culture, but you're not willing to go as far as demand change within other cultures because somehow women uh, like being oppressed there. Are you fucking kidding me? And the worst part is, you're not even part of the gaming culture. You're probably just some random woman who's just following Nina Sarkeesian because somehow you need a fucking idol to follow. And what better idol to follow than Anita Sarkeesian? Have you even played any video games at all? I doubt it. I think you might actually confuse a fucking PS3 controller as a double-headed dildo. After all, in a society that promotes the sexual objectification of women, some might feel a bit more comfortable cloaked. Again with the sexual objectif- God damn it, this is stupid! What do I think? I think we should educate the burqa right off of them. I think we should educate their husbands, and we should educate their leaders. They need education? Look yourself in the fucking mirror! Until they decide to descarf on their own. Some feminists say, that the best way to do this is by being outspoken about making it clear that we are against racist Islamophobes and the burqa at the same time. In 2010, France made it illegal to wear the burqa, which resulted in protests of feminist Muslims wearing burqas that later ended up in jail. This is not an undiscussed issue. This is another of the top issues that feminists consider, discuss, and protest. Didn't Sargon talk about this stuff? With sex workers' rights, many feminists discuss these issues regularly. There seems to be the type of radical feminist who believes that the criminalization of sex work is another form of women being oppressed by men and blatant misogyny. There is the type of feminist who believes that sex positivity and prostitution do not go hand in hand because pleasure cannot fully be achieved in the sexual transaction because it is exactly that, a transaction an exchange of money from a person that is predominantly male, a person who some feminist believes is there to humiliate and take advantage of the worker, or simply use them, knowing that the worker relies on that money for food, bills, and housing. Feminists do lots of shit, you dorks. Yeah, lots of stupid shit. I already uh, discussed this in my previous video, so in case you wanna see it, the link is in the description. Here's a tip. If you ever question about whether or not feminists have discussed an issue before, if you're just kind of feeling like, 
maybe trying to disprove the need for feminism by trying to make it be the Superman of movements. You know, well, if feminism is so good, how come puppies still get made in puppy mills? What? What? Are you serious? I mean, wow, this is... This, this, this is incredibly fucking stupid! HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! Every word that this woman has said makes my ears fucking bleed. I would rather tear off my fucking brain out and sell it to a fucking mad scientist. This is how bad Jenny McDermott is. This is how stupid Jenny McDermott is. All right. Okay, uh, l let me just show you someone. Someone that's been following me for years. Who had to flag down every video that I've ever made back in 2012. Who is responsible for removing my videos. Because he cannot handle the idea that his God is being criticized by yours truly. This is how stupid Jenny McDermott is. What the heck is that creature? Seriously. See how perfectly dumb he is? He can't even make up his own intro. So what, what he does, he basically makes fun of my old intro. Yeah. That's the best intro he can make. Making fun of my own intro. This will be the a protest video on both Mr. Repsion and TJ. Candy, don't you mind about these two? What do you think of them? TJ, you are a lunatic bearded a-hole. Mr. Webzion, you stolen Justin Beaver twin. Uh, isn't that a little harsh there, Candy? Nope, they deserve it. Oh, oh well. Anyway, Candy here wants to make a video response about Mr. Webzion turning into a agnostic atheist of he finally says in his video of why I choose atheism. More like hateful atheism to TJ. Duh. You see what I'm talking about? Just this woman is on par with Candy KO10. I am dead fucking serious. You can always do what I just spent the last hour doing. Typing that shit into Google. Yes, please go to Google. Look up on why feminism is not needed or just look at any of my videos. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> One, my fucking ears. Second, this is just pure laziness. I mean, holy shit. Jenny, you are stupid. I am the atheist gamer. Peace the game out.